50 and I can't believe it's your first time back 20 years on. It is mate, it's, uh, it's great to be back. Um, I never got a chance to say goodbye to the, to the fans when, when I left but yeah, it's uh, certainly changed. We're just laughing with Aidy. Um, it's, uh, it's fantastic mate, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, closing the corner and it used to be swirling, heated seats and it's uh, a bit different but yeah, it's, uh, it's great to be back. I can imagine the memories come flooding back for you. Of course, we've you know over the last couple of days I met like some of the supporters clubs and the fans at the Tollgate last night. Um, fantastic, you're just reminiscing and met up with Rory Delap again, mm. who I've met before and had a really good night. Um, but yeah, certainly reminisce when 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 you look about and just think about what used to go on back in the day. Coming through the academy that first season at this stadium, what was it like being a part of that? It was unbelievable, obviously. One of my dreams from being like 14, 15 was to, to play at the old Victoria ground um, in front of the Boomer end. That was, that was my dream. Um, everyone has little things in their head as a football, but that certainly was my, my thing. I was fortunate enough to be involved in the squad when I was, when I was a young lad. So I was on the verge doing really well. Um, obviously flying in the youth team, standby squads with the England, you know, under 18s and stuff. So I was doing exceptionally well at the time. Um, so to get on the bench for the last game ever at the Old Vic, I thought this is this is my time. And unfortunately, I didn't get on the pitch, so I was wounded. But yeah, when we came here, it was uh, it was good. It was a, it, you know it's a new new era. Um, and without going around the house, look at it now. You look at where we, where we, the club has become and what we've become. It's uh, it's amazing, great achievement. And you speak about the victory ground that final day against West Bromwich Albion. What were the emotions like within the dressing room, the squad that day? You could see it was eerie. Um, I'll, something I'll never forget. I'll, you know, the lads will tell you, Adrian, the lads who was involved, everyone around the club, it was just such a big build up. Um, the nearest thing I can ever say, obviously, I was fortunate enough to go down to Wembley with Stoke in the auto windscreens. It didn't match that, that feeling of when we left. Um, something I'll never forget, it was just looking around the ground and the lads knew that, you know, it was such a big occasion for the fans. Um, we, you couldn't lose that day, and that was why I was so gutted. Everyone, the emotions. It was, it was, it was a strange feeling. Obviously, of course, I was only young. All I wanted to do was get on that pitch in front of that crowd. Um, but yeah, something I'll never forget. And the fans deserved, you know, the last game to to get the result that we needed, really. So yeah, Cab popped up with that winner, didn't he? He did. Yeah, as always. <laughs> no, it was, it was just, it was just great memories. That place, even now. Like I come down, I come down, see Andrew Griffin, obviously my best pal. Um, I travel down, come to see him as much as as much as I can. Um, going past like the old Victoria Ground where we was, it's just it's just emotions, it's all memories. Um, but yeah, it's a great place. It wasn't the first season we all hoped for here, but to be part of that again, an experience, a, a historical moment that season here. Of course, it, it was great for me on a on a personal note that I, I, I managed to break into the first team. Of course, I was still I was still only like 17, 18. Um, unbelievable stadium, unbelievable fans, just a great great club, really. Do you know what I mean? Something that I really wanted to do from from being a schoolboy, and yeah, it was it was good. I didn't know any different because I was I was a young pup, really. Um, but yeah, you know, I I certainly enjoyed that time. It was. Uh, not as good as it has been over the over the last what five ten years, um, but yeah, it was certainly good for me. It's a little bit different for the young guys coming through nowadays. When you look at the facilities at the, here at the training ground, it's a different world, isn't it? It is a different world. Come on, let's 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 be realists. It's um, I laugh all the time with Griff. Just, you know, going back to the old bit we used to on AD will tell you, just all the cleaning jobs and everything. We had jobs cleaning mops. And, you know what I mean? It was just it, ridiculous. They don't know how lucky they are, mate. So, yeah, it's uh, fair play to them, mind. You know, it's, it's great and they certainly have to work at it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it is a lot different nowadays. It'd be nice to see another young striker come through the academy, wouldn't it? Of course. You know, I, w I was fortunate enough. Everyone to this day still talks about it because my youth team, anyone like the lads, you know, who run, who run um, you know, the, the, the different sides to, to the football, um, football in the community, all of them knew everything about us. My youth team alone speaks for itself. The likes of Andy Griffin, Clive Clark, James O'Connor, Ashley Willscroft. It was you never hear, you never hear anything like that. My youth team was exceptional. 
and I was very, very fortunate enough to play with a great bunch of players and uh, just look at some of the lads who went on to, to do what they did. And I, I don't think a lot of the fans like knew back then how well we did and such, such a good young uh, group of lads coming through. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be lovely if, if you got a bit more of that coming through. It'd be nice. You're back here today. You'd be hoping one or two players can chip in with the odd goal oh, to get a victory today. Definitely. Uh, I've come down with my younger brother. Got invited down by AD. I've been speaking to AD quite a lot over the last month or two. Um, he explained obviously about the 30-year um, anniversary for the football in the community, and it was a no-brainer for me to come down. And um, we've got a little something going on behind the scenes, which he obviously wanted me to mention. Um, and after speaking to him, he's a great friend. I, I was issued a little challenge, so yeah, I, uh, I've come down, and there's going to be something going on today. So I'll, I'll leave that to uh, a few other people to mention it. But yeah, there's a reason why I'm here as well. But and. Uh, very happy to be here.